hello friends welcome to data bundi today we are going to check as part of our initial tutorial series we are going to see how the multi file systems are created what are the different ways we can create the multi file system in a venus environment so as you already know the multi file system is used to you know and to apply the you know, data parallelism in well you know fluid data processing in abinisho this is a very uh, unique and important feature you know, to to equate it with you know hadoop systems and big data systems and you know spark scala system of today's environment so uh, abinisho jobs too can uh, run in different nodes uh, different you know distributed uh, parallel you know, systems so to achieve that uh, we the uh, abinisho introduces the multi file system concept and we create the different uh, different places and execution locations for a, uh, for a particular graph and for a particular component so the, in isolated way the components can execute in different places and uh, and the, all the memory allocation the temporary file creation and everything will be happen in isolated way and then after the all the data will be accumulated and used in the downstream processing so this is how the use of the multi file system so let's see how uh, many ways we could we could create the multi file system the first is install environment so this is a this is a command mostly executed by the abinisho administration department or abinisho administrator where whenever you know abinisho installation happens and this is the first command where uh, you know Uh, the, the file systems getting created the the standard environment is getting created you know all the all the data mount and and the you know and the data mount and different directory is you know the 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 local environment and standard tool environment is getting created so if we specify that there is an options whenever you know data areas okay so there is an there is there are options while creating the creating the environment there is a data area options comes in the install environment command if you specify the different areas you know there are two a three or depending upon the how many ways we are going to create so if you specify those areas then then and there the multi file system will be created so this is one way if you don't create uh, the multiple system while uh, creating the environment and there is another way is when we create the build mfs command here so build mfs command can be used and build mfs command will have the environment parameters so this here you need to give the standard env sandbox path or project path so that the build mfs command will infer the the directories from this standard you know the data mount path and you know the the basic you know data mount and uh, the base name and those parameters it would infer from the standard environment path or you can provide the alternatively you can provide the ab env root so this will be in the caps actually ab env root so value of this parameter would be provided and then you need to specify the data areas again like uh, data areas would be like disk 1 let's say disk 1 p1 and uh, disk 2 p2 okay and mfs path let's say i am providing as a 4 So if you provide this, then there will be two data two data partition would be created in disk one p one and two other two disk p two. If you provide the depth as seven, then three would be created in disk p two and four would be created in disk one p one. The allocation of the data partition would happen as round robin fashion. Okay. So this is the second way when we you know we could create the multi file system. and if we have a limited access and uh, limited access because these uh, you know two um, uh, these two ways would need you know specific access or maybe probably 
uh, a different level of access to create the multi-file system, the install environment and build MFS. But M underscore MKFS is the command where if you as a developer, if you don't have specific access or particular directory, then you can go ahead and create the multi-file system in you know in any uh, you know environment. So if you specify M underscore MKFS and if let's say you're specifying dollar a b home or you know dollar home and the path is like a path one and d a r okay so if you specify like that then there will be a you no know, and depth is four then there will be a, for a multi-file system okay. MFS of let's say MFS01 similarly for G01 0 let's say Zero one zero zero two and zero three. Okay, and the final and fourth co way is you can use the M underscore touch command. So if you want to, you don't have much you know privilege to create the multiple system and we would need a multiple system to be created or probably the empty multiple system to be created, then we could use the m underscore touch command okay similar you need to specify the similar path and we can achieve with using so these are the four different ways wherein we could create the multi-file system thank you so much